welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mads and if you guys can't tell already by the title, I have a really, really, really exciting video that I've got for you guys today. And that is a 24 hour readathon. I have never done this. This is my first time and I am so excited. I literally have been like planning this for a week. I've been getting everything ready. I bought myself snacks. I've been looking at the books that I want to read. It's a whole thing. I'm really, really, really excited. I wish I could show you how much excitement I have, but it's kind of early and I'm a little tired already. A few housekeeping things before we get started though. I actually get really bad visual migraines. Sucks as a reader girly, I know. But first and foremost, I can't read for long periods of time. And that is why I've never done a 24 hour readathon because I just knew like I would send myself into a visual migraine. There'd be nausea, there'd be vomiting, I wouldn't be able to see the pages and the words would begin to blur. Like I just knew that it wasn't for me. But this is my own YouTube channel and my own video so I can make up my own rules so I'm actually going to spread this out over two days I'm going to do 12 hours today and 12 hours tomorrow I think that this is best because honestly if I went in trying to do 24 hours straight I'd just be setting myself up for failure and that doesn't feel too good and the reading wouldn't be enjoyable and I don't want to do it just for the sake of a YouTube video and I think that this will still be fun it's still reading for 24 hours it's just more seeing how much I can read within a 24 hour time span when the clock is running yeah and I think that this will be the best move I still hope fingers crossed that I don't get a visual migraine like when I say that the words like I start losing my vision and everything goes blurry I really mean it and I feel I have the worst vertigo headache like it's a whole shaban but while we're on the topic if there's any other reader girlies that do get visual migraines and you have tips please let me know because it sucks like all I want to do is read and my brain's going no truth be told I'm so excited I watch TikToks and YouTube videos of everyone doing their 24 hour readathon and challenges and I'm just so excited for this. So I listen to audiobooks, I read physical books, I've got my Kindle so I'm going to be changing it up not only to give my eyes a little bit of a break but maybe my mind and I'm still going to be like cooking and everything but when I'm doing those things and walking my dog who's sitting here licking my pants for some reason, so cute, I will be listening to audiobooks. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. What this cute puppy is doing? She hates the camera. This is what she was doing. She just didn't want to show you. Hello, hello. So it is March 29th. 819 which you guys can't see because the cameras are focusing one it is the perfect weather to be reading it is rainy and it is gloomy and that is the perfect time to do a readathon two that also means that my living room is dark and gloomy and the lighting is weird so let me just show you my setup obviously i'm going to film a little bit while i am reading but the lighting will be weird I'm so freaking excited. That is my little reading corner that I am going to be in. So as I said, I'm going to do 12 hours today, which I am starting a little bit later than I wanted to. It actually surprisingly took a lot longer to film and everything, but that's okay. So my book choices that I have so far, now I'm a mood reader. My gigantic bookshelf is just in the other room. So if I feel like switching, I can just go and get it. But these are the books that I do want to focus on. And that would be Bride by Ali Hazelwood, which could go either way, to be honest, because apparently you either love it or you hate it. Rock, paper, scissors, because I want a quick, like, thriller. Like, it's quite small. The font's big. I feel like I can get through it. Divine Rivals. Petrified, but it's okay. We can get through it. And then the one that I'm going to be starting off with and reading now, If Only I Had Told Her, which I'm quite scared to read. I loved If You Had Been With Me. And, like, I don't know why I'm starting off with emotional damage, but I figured I should do it now rather than later in the day when my eyes are sore and I'm going to start crying over it. Um, so I've got my tabs, which I'm going to have to set up on my tabs for this because I annotated the first. So my boyfriend took me it's called books ever after it's quite a popular like steamy smut special edition bookstore in barrel um, and while we were there my boyfriend came with me and visited it i didn't get anything because honestly i'm not really in my smut era anymore i was a couple of years ago but i'm just like i even skip smut now but anyways i wanted to go because i wanted to go a couple of years ago and my boyfriend bought me this i thought it was poop he told me what it is. In the store they called him Mr. Smutty. I call him Smitty. I don't know why I call him Smitty, but this is Smitty. Uh, my boyfriend thinks it's hilarious and he is now a part of our family. I also have my gigantic mug that has my hot chocolate in it. It will be interesting to see how much I can read. I am going to do a 24 hour clock and I'll just pause it at 12 hours. But without further ado, let's get started.
back a little bit with this book in Finn's perspective. We have not. I don't know how I feel about that. The glasses are coming out. My eyes already hurt. The first tap. This heaven, her forehead pressed into me, her head under my arm, and my hand on her shoulder. We found each other by instinct. First hour down. I... Well, let me just say though, I'm a slow reader. I have recently discovered that I don't think I'm a fast reader. I think I just put a lot of time aside for reading. Anyways, I think I actually only would have read for like 40 minutes because my boyfriend came in and I was talking to him and then also I was taking some photos um, and then my annotations as well. <laughs> so I'm like taking my time with it. I do want to save for reading this book. So I am 42 pages in. We've got a few tabs. Must say, although I am loving it and I am reading it and I am I'm like very invested in it because I was so emotionally connected to the first. It almost feels ugh, rushed isn't like the right word because we're getting Finney's emotions and perspective from the events that happened in the first book if he had been with me but it's happening very quickly like we're running through events. I thought this book was going to be like if he had been with me from start to finish of the timeline of them growing up from Finney's perspective but it's not. Um, like I'm 40 pages in and I'm already up to high school for him. Someone did say that we do get Autumn's perspective. Yeah, there it is. That's weird. That is not Autumn. <gasps> okay, that actually makes me really excited because Jack is Finney's best friend so we must get Jack's perspective. So we don't get Autumn's perspective, we get it from Jack. <gasps> that actually makes me really excited. Okay. I'm probably going to read for another hour and then I'm going to make some very late breakfast. I love making big breakfasts on the weekend. So we're going to pull out all the stuff. Scrambled eggs, bacon, hash browns. And I've got my cute little reading buddy with me. Say hi, baby. Say hello. The poor little angel. Lola's 10. She's very cute. But she recently just had an autoimmune disease and it was attacking her joint and her bones. So it was very, very painful for her to walk. She's now on steroids. She's very hungry. She's got that void rage. Um, no, she doesn't actually. She's just very hungry and um, drinks a lot of water. But she's on the mend and she's better. She's had to have a lot of testing. But other than that, she's getting better and she's all clear. Now I'm really excited to keep going. So let's see what happens. Hello. Officially two hours. And it is also official I am a slow reader. <laughs> Which is kind of giving me anxiety if I'm being honest because I've never timed myself. I don't know, it's giving me anxiety so I'm trying not to think about it. Page 92 and for those of you that don't know, this is the second, I should have done this at the beginning, this is the second book to If He Had Been With Me and If He Had Been With Me is Childhood Friends to Lovers and it is emotionally gut-wrenching. This second book is the same event but from the male's perspective, Finny. So we have Finny and Autumn and I'm up to page 92 like I said and the friends are now going to lovers. For those of you that have read If He Had Been With Me, you know what is about to happen. I'm not going to say anything more than that but I am like... Okay, I just checked. I know I shouldn't check, but I have this much more of Finney's perspective. I'm not ready. This is like bad. I was meant, it's 10.30. I was meant to cook breakfast. I have not cooked breakfast because I'm so like enthralled with this book. This is the plan. I'm going to read the rest of Finney's perspective, which is 50 pages. I don't want to listen to Divine Rivals on audio because that one I actually did start reading two weeks ago and I'm annotating this. So I can't annotate while listening. So then that leaves Bride by Ali Hazelwood, all the thriller Alice Feeney. Rock, paper, scissors. So maybe I'll do rock, paper, scissors. Please be free and please be a good audiobook. Oh, it's for free. Why are opening credits 23 Rock, minutes? Rock, paper, scissors. Oh no, why, why is it in a man's Rock, voice? Oh. February 2020. We are so on. I'm going to listen cooking and stuff. I'm going to listen to Rock, Paper, Scissors. And I ordered the American cover because it's so much better. It's a doll. You have a Spotify men membership and you listen to audiobooks. Like, utilize that. Back in we go. Like nothing's happened and we're only getting really emotional. Oh my god. This is just like a book that you're either really connected to or you're not. Like that it's really 50-50. This is a 
shock. I did not did not expect this and it's like weird good closure. So I am up to page 154. I've semi-composed myself. I'm 40 pages away from being halfway. I am now officially up to a different perspective. I like, I can't even explain how I feel inside. It's very weird. I think the next half of the book is what's really gonna break me. And this next part, some people didn't like because they wanted the whole shebang from Finney's point of view. And that was 150 pages of just like speed going through how he felt on certain event. Now we're getting up to when they're adults and it's switching perspectives and I actually really like that because what's happening next I do actually want to know. I'm going to put that down and we're going to finally pick up rock paper scissors on audiobook. It is 11 18. I'm going to finally make some breakfast. It's brunch at this point. Okay so I'm up to chapter two and it is dual perspective and we have a male narrator as same as well as a female narrator which I actually don't mind. I actually love that. I don't like male narrator narrators narrating female perspectives but I'm loving it so far also tip for scrambled eggs a life changer a add cheese when you um, whisk it but when you pour it into the pan don't scramble them push them around and you will get the fluffiest eggs you will ever eat in your entire life say hi mommy say I'm the cutest dog in the whole world Lola, yes. Oh, jeez, that was a big flop. brunch and delicious by the way so now i'm going to pick up if you have been with me now we go on to the different perspective please wish me good luck 20 minutes later this is so fucking heartbreaking i have to read it slow because i keep crying and i'm trying not to cry because lamely i have makeup on and i don't want to get my makeup everywhere and it's actually so sad if you read if you had been with me and you liked it take this as your sign to go and read this book <laughs> So sad. So sad. Okay, bye. <sighs> I need to pull myself together. Two hours later. So lots and lots of crying later. I just finished Jack's perspective. Now I'm up to autumn, which is just going to absolutely destroy and break my heart all over again. But logistically, I'm up to page 284, 83. It's been six hours. So definitely a little bit of a slow reader. I now know that, but that is okay. I've got about 100 pages left. This is absolutely a five star. I'm not going to say like my final rating and stuff on books until the end. I'm going to sit down and do like overall vibes and overall rating for each book. But like I already know that this is five stars. It's just so heartbreaking. And like it got to the point where I even like just stopped annotating there was so much that i wanted to annotate but i was so enthralled and hooked by the book that i just didn't even want to stop for two seconds to put it down and annotate now it's time for autumn's perspective and to finish the book two hours later and i am done i only have five and a half hours left for today my eyesight is starting to slowly go a little bit blurry and when i was finishing like the last 30 or so pages I started getting a little bit nauseous so there definitely is some type of migraine <laughs> going on but so I think it's good that I did decide to do the two days but I'm going to switch back to putting my glasses back on I have finished and now I put that one down and pick up this one after that like such heavy book even though this is probably stabby stab of murder vibes I need something a little bit more like light-hearted I can't do a romance though because that was romance 
Like, I need something that isn't romance. I need something that's lighthearted and not as serious, but like not lovey dovey. So, I need a stabby vibe. Hence this book. So, we will see how I go. I've got five hours left. I'm gonna start pulling out the snacks now. So, let's go. So I'm 68 pages into Rock, Paper, Scissors and I think I just predicted the two big plot twists, which will really suck if I did. Um, it kind of seems a little bit obvious, so I'm hoping that it's not. I think the only thing that's like really good about this is that when you change perspectives, you actually switch teams and like who you're rooting for. Like each perspective truly makes you want to hate the other person. But I think I just predicted the two big plot twists, which we will find out in this video if I did or not. Fingers crossed that I didn't. We have 15 hours left of this challenge and I'm very glad that I'm splitting it into two because A, I'm actually starting to get tired and B, my eyes are starting to play up already. While she's drinking, let me show you the cutest glass ever. Anyways, so I have three hours left so I'm going to be finishing up around 8.30 at night. I'm up to page 111 and I was wrong, there's not 270, there's 290. 20 page difference but I'm one third of the way through and it's actually just like a really weird book as the story is unfolding you know there's something weird going on but you don't know exactly what it is so you're waiting for that to happen so there's it feels like there's a lot of waiting at the moment but I do really love the dual perspective I feel like I'm making good time and I'm already like this thrill is just like not really doing it for me. It's kind of bland, it's okay. I have guessed one little like nugget that's being revealed. I don't want to say plot twist because it's not. We're 100 pages in and I'm already thinking about my next read. So I think that that's kind of like going that I don't really like. I just want it to be over with. Now this is my thing. Do I read Divine Rival Snacks or do I read Serpent in the Wings at Night? My thing is is that I don't want to start a book that I'm not going to finish in this video. And I actually posted a video on TikTok and I was like, tell me what books I should read. And the for our readathon and in that pile there's divine rivals and the serpent in the wings tonight and i honestly thought that everyone would choose divine rivals everyone was choosing serpent in the wings tonight which shocked me because i was like mm. and i love hunger games and serpent in the wings tonight is apparently hunger games meets vampires quite interesting because i had no clue what it was about and i actually had quite a similar concept idea for my next book series that's besides the point because that's like a year and a half away i have my next two book series planned which also let's just take a brief moment to talk about that Hi, my name is Mabs, and for those of you that don't know, I'm actually an author myself. And I wrote these lovely books, Air of Broken Fate and Air of Broken Kingdom. Air of Broken Kingdom comes out April 9th. By the time I post this video, it should be out. Uh, they are romances. If you love enemies to lovers, slow burn, who did this to you, elemental magic, found family, fae, then the series definitely is for you. It's on Kindle Unlimited. If you want the gorgeous covers, you can get them off of Amazon. And Air Broken Fate follows Princess Delilah, who runs to the Fae to ask for help to free her oppressed people, only to find out that the Fae need her help more, and she needs to save not only the entire Fae race, but magic itself. And it's got mermaids, dragons, griffins. It's really, really cool. Please give her a shot. She is on Kindle Unlimited, so all the Kindle girlies, go download her. I'm kind of rambling at this point, but I'm not going to choose what I'm going to read, because that's going to be for tomorrow, but I have three hours left. We will see how much I get done. I'm gonna go back and read. I have a very sad update. The burger place is closed because it's Good Friday. So everything's closed. So we ordered Guzman. So I'm getting a burrito. And I'm gonna have to order burgers tomorrow. I don't know if anyone else gets this. So let's say I get a craving Monday, okay? I don't let myself have it. I will literally not stop craving that food until I eat it. It will be all I can think about, which, you know, one sounds pretty disturbing to me, but anyways, back to reading. <laughs> an hour and a half to go. I'm up to 
I can barely see now. Page 164. In my pajamas, no makeup. We're getting ready for the evening. It's the vibes are set. Either this author is setting it up to be like, oh, I legend believe that it was this person the entire time. Jokes on you, it's this. I'm hoping it's that. Because there's so many things I'm like, okay, that was obvious. Which I'm hoping it's not because this book got so much hype. So I'm hoping that the hype is not gonna let me down. Fingers crossed it doesn't, but I'm officially over halfway. It's quite easy easy to read I could put it down but I don't want to at the same time it's a very weird vibe again I'm kind of reading it in the sense of let's see what happens and if I got it right there's my bummy okay I'm gonna go finish reading the last hour and a half That wraps up the first half of the 24 hour readathon. <sighs> A little reading update. So I am up to page 221. I have 70 pages left. Honestly, I could keep going, but I'm actually really tired and I didn't sleep that well. My eyes are starting to really hurt. They're starting to strain. So I think I'm just going to go to bed, get some rest for tomorrow, and then finish the 12 hours. Tomorrow, though, I think is going to be a fantasy day because today was just romance in thriller. And I think what's going to happen is because fantasy books are a lot bigger, the font's a lot smaller, like there's a lot more to read. So it's probably going to take the rest of the 12 hours to finish. But we will see what I pick because I still am tossing and turning between Divine Rivals and The Serpent in the Wings of Night. And it's all going to come down to how I feel tomorrow. The first 12 hours is done. And I had a lot of fun. I can't wait for tomorrow. So I will see you in the morning. Good night. Also, remember when I was like, the all is making it obvious to make you think that it's that person, but it's not that person. That happened. So I'm actually really, really glad. So I'm excited to see where the story goes. is March 30th it is the next day and we have officially 10 hours left I obviously I think I would have put a snippet in but I woke up this morning and read for two hours in the bath and I finished second book Alice Feeney rock paper scissors I have a lot of interesting thoughts on this one but again I'm gonna keep it all for the end the mood reader has decided what she's reading today and that is The Serpent in the Wings of Night. Couple reasons for this. Let me get a little comfy while I chit chat. So a couple of reasons for this. One, I don't know why, but I think I downloaded it when it was still on Kindle Unlimited or it still is on Kindle Unlimited. I have this on my Kindle so I can flick between the two, which I really like. I can't do that with Divine Rivals. And the mood reader is just mood reading. I don't feel like reading Divine Rivals. Also, a friend of mine messaged me and she's currently reading it and she's not gelling with it too much. And I just don't want to finish this video off with a bad one. There's a video on TikTok asking people what I should read. And Everyone was saying so in the wings tonight. So I'm gonna trust you guys. I'm gonna read it. I wasn't going to annotate because I feel like annotation just slows you down. But this is an enemy to lovers, Hunger Games meets vampires. Hunger Games are my favorite movies ever, and I will be reading the book soon. So I feel like I'm just really gonna love it. So I want to annotate it. And I love enemies to lovers. That is what we're gonna read. I have my trusty iPad, which I only use for Kindle, me and my cute boyfriend. And we've got 10 hours to go, so let's knock this out today. Let's go. Chapter 3, page 26. I do have the Audible. I just purchased it. So I just cooked, had breakfast, and I did listen, listen to it on Audible. Then I had to like keep stopping and highlight in my Kindle because then I will transfer my annotations. But I'm actually really, really liking it. And I do think that if you are a fan of The Hunger Games, you would really like this if you like fantasy. Honestly, my biggest relief is that it's not similar to my book concept idea because I came up with my book series idea probably a year ago and I hadn't heard of Serpent in the Weeds of Night. And then when it started picking up because he heard of it but I didn't know what it was and someone said Hunger Games and vampires and I just went oh no someone's done it and then I'm reading it obviously and it's quite different from my concept and my idea so I'm just like relieved I'm enjoying it a lot I have chosen to read on my Kindle just because annotating is a lot faster it says that this is going to take me so it's going to take me nine and a half hours to finish reading but I've only got eight hours and 42 minutes so I'm just gonna go over time okay let's go back to reading the 
glasses are out and the headache is in full swing. So I am up to a page. 77 still not reading from the physical copy and i don't think i can now because like this is like the beginning of a visual migraine where i start getting like vertigo and my head starts hurting it's fine all day yesterday it could be like eye tiredness from reading all day yesterday but i didn't read on my kindle yesterday now i'm reading on my kindle and what an hour and a half two hours and i get a visual migraine i don't think that's a coincidence so now i've got this up and i'm not like looking down i'm like looking around the room so i can try and like stabilize it while i listen to the audiobook and if there's something i want to annotate i'm highlighting it in the ipad and i've come to realize that it's quite like immersive to be listening to it and reading but yeah so far so good the trials have just begun very interesting the male love interest has been introduced and i do like him not much more of an update other than that we will see how how my eyes progress and my brain so far so good I also really like Misha like a lot okay so I'm up to page 177 I'm 36% in I still have five hours left and if I'm being completely honest I'm actually struggling so much I am really liking this story my eyes are really bad at the moment and I've got really bad vertigo right now it's kind of half why I can't like focus on the camera and my eyes keep moving the audiobook is amazing so much so that I just want to lay down close my eyes and just listen so I can imagine it but I have to keep them open because I have to keep scanning on my iPad so that I can annotate and highlight what I want to but there is things to annotate and highlight and I really like Chris Broadbent's writing like really like it and it's super immersive in the audiobook so I think it's just the eye strain that's starting to get to me but we shall see how it goes and take my makeup off because it's starting to freaking itch started having an allergic reaction i have like the most sensitive skin in the entire freaking world it goes iffy sometimes you guys like see all the red blotchiness let's do a little update i am up to chapter 26 page 218 the audiobook and the book that is on kindle is actually the old indie version there's a traditionally published version which is the paperback that i have when i was like tracking it on the book i was like mm. there's like 50 pages missing in traditionally published because it's obviously being edited so no i just can't read from that book because otherwise it gets a little bit too confusing still loving it though but i've got technically three hours and 50 minutes left but i'm gonna keep going until i finish the book because i'll finish it in four hours and 56 minutes so I'm just like one hour lagging and like I said I don't want to finish this video with books unfinished so I am going to finish quite late and I think I'll do like my final wrap up and talks tomorrow back to reading I need to stop procrastinating <laughs> shock is not a big enough word to explain the feelings that I am feeling right now I have three minutes left I did not see this coming. I did not see this coming. What are you talking about? I'm so scared to turn the page. Guys, I... <sighs> if you have read The Serpent in the Wings of Night, you know. I don't believe this. I don't believe it because I know that there's a second book. Okay, I know what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. This is a <laughs> spoiler-free reading vlog. I can't see anything. Hi, Luna. What are you doing, puppy? Oh, hi. Oh, hello, you're doing a drive-by. A minute and a half left, people. A minute and a half left of the 24-hour reading challenge. That is it. I just finished. It is 7.30 at night. You can't even see that. Um, I have 40 pages left of The Serpent in the Wings of Night. I actually know how it's going to end, which is kind of sad. But still good. I am going to go eat, finish the last 40 pages, and I will see you guys in the morning and we'll talk in debrief about this whole experience. So I will see you in the morning. Good morning.
morning. It is the next day. The 24 hour challenge is officially over and it is now time to rate the three books that I read. I did have 40 minutes left of Surfing in the Wings tonight that I didn't finish last night, but I finished it this morning. I feel like that counts. But the first book that I read, which was If Only I Had Told Her, this was five stars for me. And I wish I annotated more because I was annotating and I did annotate a lot. It just got to the point where I was so engrossed in the book, I didn't even want to put it down for two seconds to annotate. Loved this. Like, absolutely love this. I was crying, as you guys saw. Like, it really hit so hard. And weirdly, I feel like it gave closure to the first book. And in the best way possible. I love it. I'm so glad that she wrote it. We get three perspectives in this book. We get Finny, Jack, and Autumn. And I'm actually really glad that it is that way. I think it would have been very repetitive and very boring if it was all the events of the first book from Finny's perspective. I think that his perspective was done beautifully. I'm actually really Really glad that we got Jack's perspective as well because then we also got to see parts of Sylvie in this. Again, I feel like people who haven't read this, like you guys are just hearing characters that you don't know. If you guys have read If He Had Been With Me and you liked it, I highly recommend If Only I Had Told Her. Five stars. I loved it so much. I'm so glad that I bought it. Then next up we had Rock, Paper, Scissors. Now this one is actually weird. I ended up rating it 3.5 stars and this is where it gets weird and I don't understand my feelings towards the book. It is a phenomenal book. The writing is incredible. I was hooked throughout the entire thing because I really was wondering what's happening and when the perspectives change you were rooting for whoever's perspective you were in like it is hard to do that and this book actually really truly is amazing. I do recommend it. It is a really good thriller book. I think the only thing is is that I did predict parts of the ending so it wasn't as shocking as it could have been. There were still some aspects that I didn't predict at all and they were shocking. They were good. I just think because I kind of predicted it that there was not that oh my god moment 3.5 really great book though and last but certainly not least the book that everyone on tiktok begged me to read and wants a review and that is the serpent in the wings of night this was 3.5 stars for me i wanted to love it as much as everyone else did i actually really thought it was going to be five stars for me like i went in expecting five stars and it is an incredible book carissa broadband is a very very talented writer annotations for days 3.5 stars because I predicted the ending. It was not shocking at all. There is one aspect to the ending that I did not see coming and it actually makes me very excited to continue reading on. So that is a plus. That aspect was like four stars, 4.5. But I think just because throughout the book it just felt like as soon as I figured it out and it was like 30, 35%, I was like, oh, so that's going to happen. So then when I was reading, I was like, okay, hey, I, I know how it's going to end. And it was definitely one of those moments. And then the more I read, the more I was like, okay, this is definitely going to happen. So it was kind of just like waiting for the inevitable. So I still loved the story. I think it's very unique, actually. Very unique. I love, love, love the world. I love the magic system. And I love the characters. I will continue on with the series. I'm very excited to continue on with the series, like I said, because of that one bit. I'm just disappointed that I figured out what was happening so early on. But if you're a big fan of Hunger Games, definitely go read her. And that is it. My first 24 hour marathon is officially over. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was honestly so fun. I was looking forward to this so much and it did not disappoint. And I hope that you guys liked it as much as I loved filming it and I will see you guys soon. Bye!